So for me, passion is overrated. Hello everybody, my dear wee Biotonians. On much popular demand, I'm back in front of you with another amazing life lesson video. I wouldn't really want to call it uh, motivation because more than motivation, these are those pearls of wisdom which help us think and which put us back on track when we are lost and we don't really know what to do with our life. I can understand that so many of you have heard this and I personally, in my very humble opinion and in my very personal opinion, I call it one of the most overrated words ever. So one of the most, can you guess? I think it's passion. Find your passion. I'm passionate about this. You know, if you don't have passion, your life is spoiled. But what does that person have? Who doesn't have passion? Who doesn't know how to put passion? Ka pata kaise lagao? He can only see YouTube videos and find out what he or she is passionate about. But no. You know what is passion? Passion is a very short term thing. What is short term now? Passion is something which can drive you, fuel you for a few hours, few days or maybe a month or maybe for one or two years till you fizzle out. You lose that, that factor or that something which really motivates you. Because passion is a short-term energy investment. When life has a lot of ups and downs, when life is so big that we have to constantly, you know, find ourselves and reinvent ourselves, we have to find something which is the constant source of motivation in our lives. For Mother Teresa, it was helping the poor. It was finding that every small child who was motherless, fatherless, every man who suffered from leprosy in and around the area that she had, everybody who was in need of something, find and give them some solace and a shelter and food to eat. That was her calling, that was her purpose in life. So for me, passion is overrated. Purpose is the most underrated, the most beautiful and the most profound thing which has the ability to bring about a change in our lives. The moment we discover our purpose, in today's video, I'm going to be sharing anecdotes, I'm going to be sharing stories of people who took some time but really found their calling, found their purpose. And once you find that, let me tell you, then there is no looking. All of you must have heard of Padma awarded Arunima Sinha. So Arunima Sinha played volleyball as well as football at national levels for India. One fine day, she was on board a train going to give her interview for the CISF, the central, uh, you know, it's it's like the CRPF, the CISF, there are security forces, central industrial security force. And she was on board a train until some criminals tried to loot her. And then she resisted them and in the process she was thrown out of the train. The moment she lands down, another train runs over her legs and to save her life, the doctors had to amputate her leg. She spent considerable amount of time getting rehabilitated in the All India Institute of Medical Sciences, New Delhi. And at the same time, she reads about Yuvraj Singh and Yuvraj Singh, we all know, battled cancer. And then on the bed of the All India Institute of Medical Sciences, New Delhi, she makes a pledge. She decides that someday, wo India ka tiranga lehraayenge, un saare continents ki chote upar. And then, since that day, there is no looking back. She is not only India's, but the world's first woman amputee to scale the Mount Everest. Isn't that like, isn't that a purpose in life? Isn't that a calling which is bigger than us? I'm also reminded of a marathon runner who started running at 89 and imagine created world records at 92, 93. I'm talking of none other than Poja Singh, whose fifth son's death, Kuldeep Singh, if I'm not mistaken, triggered something extremely emotional and deep inside him. Imagine he's the same person who did not walk for the first five years. He was born in Bias in Punjab. And five years ago, he didn't walk for five years. His name because he was like a stick and he couldn't walk much. Vahi Aaj, one of the high categories, the most famous marathon runners. Take this story from Elon Musk's story. Take this story from Elon Musk's story. We have to think about this. But you know, once you believe in something, you want to achieve something in life, take Nikola Tesla's story. Aise baut log aaye hain who found a calling, who found a purpose and who made their purpose. You know, Nelson Mandela for 27 years this person was in prison. 27 years, my dear children, he was in prison. Such a long time. That's like half a lifetime in fact. So had it not been a guiding principle, had it not been a purpose, had it not been that I really want to change the face of South Africa and fight for my people, he probably would have never been able to do what he did. So, 
there are times when we are down there are times when when we need guidance there are times that we need to find ourselves there are times that we want to give up there are times when when we just don't have anything working for us in our lives it's during these times that passion won't save us purpose will a calling will a higher call will something that we believe in something that we resonate with so my dear children you have to have a purpose in life that purpose can be as simple as trying to you know trying to cure people trying to be a kind hearted compassionate doctor that purpose can be probably serving the society that purpose can be doing something for your motherland that purpose can be probably helping your juniors in your school once you become a doctor that purpose can be becoming a teacher like me to make sure that everybody in india has access to quality education that purpose can be anything but it has to be big it has to be it has to be born out of kindness it has to be something where we are able to serve others because only then will this purpose allow us to transcend all possible barriers tabhi ye purpose kuch aisa hoga ki isse hum itni shakti nikal payenge ki hum apni sari ummeedon par khara utar sake ki hum har ek wo cheez kar sake jo hum karna chahte hain so my dear kids find that purpose passion is short term it will just go and once you find that purpose just just go on this drive to fulfill that purpose because then in your entire life you will be filled with zeal you will no more require any kind of motivation because that purpose will be the source of the biggest strength that you need that purpose will be the guiding light of your life that purpose won't let you rest you know so many times people tell me that ma'am we we get demotivated we get distracted purpose ye hone nahi dega fir to aapko time hi nahi pata chalega kab din kab sham because you will be on the express train towards the life of your dreams to to create the life of your dreams i I would like you to indulge in a little bit of soul searching and find the purpose of your life. Bye.